I'm Sandy from Fit Journey here today with what I call a power workout. So this workout is designed to create functional strength, building strength in key muscle groups of the legs, the core, the back, and push your cardio. I'll be providing alternatives or modifications if there's anything that's not quite doable for you today, so don't worry, you're all going to get a good workout in. So we're going to need two pieces of equipment. I have a heavy weight and a medium to light weight. I'm using kettlebells today, but you could be using dumbbells, it's all good. And we'll be doing a lot with body weight as well. I'm going to start with a warm-up. The warm-up is three exercises. We're going for five reps each. We'll run through that twice and then we'll get into the workout. So come into a wide stance and we're going to sit down into a squat. So your squat form, you want to make sure your knees stay over your feet. And you're going to push and come up. So five squats, three, four, and five. And then we're going to take step in lunges. So I'm going to come towards you and then show it from the side. But you're going to alternate legs. So step in, make sure the knees right over your foot and push back, switch legs. Okay, so it looks like this. I've got two. <laughs> and your arms are going to kind of do the opposite. Go slow enough that you can really manage the joints, especially that front knee. That's five. Okay, come on down onto your mat. You're going to come into a forearm plank with the forearms parallel, push the hips back, and then do alternating side planks. So lift up one arm and then the other. We'll do five each way. Make sure your elbows are right underneath your shoulders. four, and five, and five. Good job. Let's come on up, do those squats again, twice through. So wide stance, hips go back, and sit down and stand up. When you come up, recruit every muscle in your leg. So squeeze your inner thighs, squeeze your glutes, everything. <laughs> step in lunges, step in with one foot, watch your knee, step back, We'll do it sideways. That's three. And four. Just getting those muscles working. Get the blood flowing. Five. Five. Back down into your plank, forearm plank. Push back with the heels and start your rotations. Not being in a rush here. You can feel everything in the body working in your plank upper body, your back, everything in your core, hips, and your legs. What am I at? I think this is four. Five. And five. Good job. So you're warmed up. Let's get a sip of water and then we'll get going with the workout. Let's get ready for our workout. So the shape of the program today is supersets, which means pairs of exercises. We'll do each exercise in the pair twice through for 10 reps. Then we move on to the next pair. Okay, so you're going to take your heavy weight, bring that into the middle of your mat, and step wide. We're going to do wide squat and alternating upright rows. So we're going to row up 10 times on each side. You ready? Keep your gaze forward, find your weight, and pull it up. It's one set. Breathe out as you pull. The power is in your legs. If you're trying to muscle this up with your arm, it's going to get pretty heavy pretty soon. Push with the hips. I think that's five. Seven. Eight. Nine. This is work. <laughs> 10 and 10. Awesome job. Put your weight aside. Whew. Grab your medium to light weight. I'm going to sit down at the edge of your mat. So these are push ups or sit ups rather. So these are sit ups. You're going to round down. This is the most important part to round your lower back down and then push the weight up overhead. Maybe breathe in as you come down. Breathe out as you come up. All one long fluid. Push. Here we go. I think this is five. Six. 
How are you doing? Seven. Remember to round your back down to the mat. Eight. Nine. And ten. Oof. Good job. <laughs> Take a moment to catch your breath. We're going to roll through these two again. So back with your heavy weight. Depending on how that felt last time, you might want to change your weight, you might want to take it up, you might want to take it down. But remember, it's the legs doing the work. Nice wide stance. Come on down into your squat, and here we go. Oh. Push with your feet. This is four. Five. Six, breathe out, eight, nine, ten, and ten. Woo. Good work. Catch your breath. <laughs> Words to myself. It's interesting how Lifting weights can really push your cardio. Here we go, you ready? Gonna round down, reach overhead, breathe out. Careful going down, and push. Rounding. And this is four. Five, you can do it. Good control on the way down. You can do this without weight. You can also tuck your toes under something if you're having trouble getting up. Eight. Nine. Ten. Victorious. Whew. Well done, take a quick break. Get some water, wipe your face, and we'll get going on the next circuit. If you've had a sip of water and wiped your face, let's get going on the second of the four pairs of supersets that we're doing in this workout today. So this one is a back lunge to a knee tuck, so it's a little bit of balance. You're going to step back, and then when you stand up, bring the knee up and make sure you stick it. If that's not working for you today, you can do split lunges, just staying with the toe down. There's still an element of balance to that too. The second exercise is a push-up to mountain climber. So push-up form. I prefer a wide stance so that at the bottom of the push-up your elbows are right over your wrists. You do a push-up and then mountain climb. One knee to the other elbow. Push-up, mountain climb. The way to do push-ups is from your knees. Okay, so this is an option. And if the push-up just isn't working for you today, go from plank and just do your mountain climbers. Okay? So here we go with the first exercise. Ten reps on each side. You go down and do your plank and mountain climbers and we'll roll through it twice. So start at the front of your mat. If you're going to do the step back and knee tuck, if you're doing the split lunge, get your feet ready. And here we go. We're going to step back and stand up. <laughs> it helps to have your eyes focused on something ahead of you that's not moving. Gives you a little bit of time to figure out where you are in space. I can't look at the camera. I'm going to fall all over the place. So six, seven, eight, Nine, ten. We're going to do the other side. You can step back. You can be doing this as split lunges. One, two, three, <laughs> four, five, six. The most important thing about balance is to go slowly and keep your sense of humor. I think that's ten. Good. Come on down into your plank, push up form, hands under the elbows. You're going to do 10 push ups all together or 10 sets of mountain climbers if you're not doing the push ups. So here we go. Remember, you're bringing your chest down, not your head. That's five. Six, 
That's seven. I got nine. One more. Awesome job. Walk it up. Give your hands a shake. Back to the lunge back and knee tuck. Okay? Here we go. Start the front of your mat. Take a step back with your foot. Arms are doing the opposite action to the legs. That's five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. And ten. Other side. Fix your gaze. Take a step back. And power it up. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Keep your gaze soft. Let the legs do the work. That's eight. Nine. Ten. Back down into your plank form. Ready for whatever version of push-up that you can do today or just holding the plank. Way we go. One. Remember to breathe. I think this is five. Don't be in a rush with your push-up. Seven. The push-ups are too much. Just do your mountain climbers. It's the last one. Whoa! Well done. <laughs> Take another quick break, get your heart rate down, get some water. All right, we're halfway through. You've got two of the pairs of supersets done. We just have two more pairs to get through. Um, so the first thing we're going to be doing is working the hamstrings. The second thing is going to be working your core. So we're going to start by laying down on your back. Come on down. Get your feet close to your hips. And we're going to do some hip presses here to really fire up the hamstrings. So what I'm going to ask you to do is lift the hips and then lift your heels. And it's going to look like this. Okay, so here we go. Let's do 10 of these. Push into your feet and then lift the heels up. Bring the heels down and roll it down. So round your back on the way down. Good. So pushing the knees forward, lifting your heels, rounding your lower back as you come down. Doesn't feel like much the first couple. <laughs> We're going to start to feel this in the hamstrings and the calves. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. And ten. Good. Now come around onto your forearms. You're going to come into a plank. Forearm plank, so making a triangle shape with your forearms on the mat, elbows right under the shoulders. Nice tight plank so your hips are not up and they're not dipping down. You're right in a long line. What we're going to do here are sawing, so it's a small action with the feet. You're going to roll onto your toes and then roll back towards the balls of your feet. And just keeping that plank form, so really pressing your forearms into the mat and have a sense of the lower abs really staying engaged. Five, six, I'm traveling, <laughs> seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, not too bad. Now, we're going to do these same two again. I'm going to add a stability ball. If you have a stability ball, you can do these two exercises on that. So just to give you that as an option. If you don't have a stability ball, it's fine. You're going to do them on the mat the way we did the first time. So if you've got the stability ball, get ready whether you're on the mat or on the ball. Arms down by your sides. You're going to push into the feet. Roll up and manage the ball. It's a complete misnomer. It's instable. It's not a stability ball. Three. Four. Five. If you're on the mat, you're doing the calf raise as well, lifting the heels. Seven. This ball's all over the place. Eight. Nine. And ten. 
And I would say working with the ball was a little more challenging because of the instability. Same thing, using the stability ball again, make that triangular shape with your arms. Walk your feet back into that plank. We're going to saw with the forearms here. So if you're on the mat, forearms on the mat, you're going to saw with your feet on the ball. And roll it forward and back. That's five, six, seven, whoa. and ten. Whew. That pair's done. <laughs> get a sip of water, wipe your face. We have one more superset to get through. Here we go, our last superset. Two exercises again. You're going to take your medium to light weight. And what we're going to do is a forward lunge and an overhead lift. Okay, so I'm going to do it from the side so you can see the form. We're going to alternate legs as we do this. So I'm going to step forward, lift the weight up, bring it down, and step back, and then alternate. Woo! <laughs> Balance. That's the first exercise. Second one is a three-legged downward dog. So you're going to lift up and back, lift one leg up, and then draw the knee to the elbow. That's that long line knee to the elbow. So you're going to do 10 on each side. Here we go. Grab your weight. So set your shoulder blades into your back. We're going to alternate legs. So take a step forward. Take the weight out in front. Lift it overhead, down, and back. That's one half of one. <laughs> Good. So you decide at this point if you've got the right weight. If it's too easy to lift and bring down, it's not throwing your stability off, then maybe stop and give it a heavier weight. If the weight's too much, you can do it without a weight, just lifting your arms up and lowering them down. I think that's four. Half done. This is awesome, working every muscle group in your legs, working your core, working your shoulders and your back. And a little bit of a cardio push too. I think this is eight. <laughs> and your balance. One more. And that's that. Whew. Put your weight down, walk yourself down into downward facing dog. So if this is new to you, have your hands about shoulder width apart. Have your feet about hip width apart. And you don't want to be in a plank here or a push up position. You want to come into an upside down V shape with your head between your arms. You can bend your knees to do that. So here we go. Take an inhale, lift the leg up. Exhale, shift into plank and tuck the knee. Inhale. Exhale. Nice long lines. This is four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Reset your downward dog. Head in between the arms. Have your knees bent if you need to. Take your other leg up, look to your hands, draw the knee to the elbow. Coordinating your breath. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Here we go. We're almost done. Once more through each of these exercises. Okay, so again, you decide if the weight you chose last time is the right weight. If you wonder if you're getting tired, you can do this without weight. Okay, here we go. Alternating, alternating lunges and overhead lift. So step in, lift up, lower down, step back. Change legs. Just got to get through the reps. 
You know you'll be stronger for it. This is three. Good. Plant your foot. Knee stays right over the foot. This is five. Weight's getting heavy. <laughs> Six. Seven. My arms are getting tired. <laughs> Eight. You can do it. And nine. And keep your arms straight. Last set. And we did it. Awesome job. Weight down. Last set. Three-legged three -legged dog. Two knee tuck. So set up yourself in your downward dog. Maybe pedal the legs a couple of times. Hmm. Let's take one leg up and back. Look to your hands. Come into your plank and tuck the knee. Two, three, four, two more, nine, and ten. Reset in your downward dog. Take the other leg up and back. Just 10 to go, guys. We're doing great. Two, three, four, five, six. Last one. Woo! Awesome job. I'm sweating. All right. Have a sip of water, uh, wipe your face with a towel, and then we're going to do a cool down. All right, so we have to remember to stretch, especially after you've done a challenging full body workout like that. So we're going to do a few things here just to uh, cool down and get the circulation going again in your legs and your back and your core. So we'll come into that split stance lunge again. This time we're focusing on stretching. So I've got my right leg back, and I'm deep enough that I feel the stretch in the quad muscle and coming into the hip flexor. You want to keep the lower back neutral, so maybe bend your knee, come a little deeper, and then play with a very small little range of motion. You can see I'm straightening my knee and bending my knee, and just kind of coaxing the quad muscle into giving a little more length back, stimulating circulation. Okay, let's switch legs. Make sure your feet are hip width apart. Maybe start by bending your left knee to get a little deeper in your lunge, and then straighten the knee a little bit, and bend it. Straighten, pause. When you really feel that stretch sensation, give it a little bit of time and then move away from the edge. So we're pulsing in and out. We're not locking into position so that the soft tissues get the idea to give a little more length. Good, okay, come on out of that. Let's just take the shoulders up and back and down. Ooh, all that work for the core, those push-ups. Bring your elbows up and back and down. And a couple times with the full arms, reach up, take them wide, squeezing the shoulders back. That feels pretty good. <laughs> okay, this one, we're going to slide down now and stretch out the back of your legs. So slide your hands down, keep your knees straight, and hold on to your legs wherever you can reach with your knees straight. And then bend the elbows and allow your upper body to hang. So really wake up the back of the legs. I'm feeling that in my hamstrings and my calves. And then alternate pedaling the legs, bending one knee and then the other. Kind of shift your weight side to side. Good. And then look forward. Bend your knees to come up. You can take your left arm up. Grab that elbow and pull it back with your right hand. Let's maybe do a side bend over to the right. That feels pretty good. And then the other side. Pull the elbow back. Push the elbow back into the hand. And then move over to the left. And then release it all. Let the arms go. 
Well done. Thank you for joining me today in this workout. If you enjoyed it, I'd love to get your feedback and comments. And please subscribe to my channel so you'll be notified the next time I post a video. Have a great day.